this is one of the shocking news and breaking and um intensifying news you ever get on this particular platform today because um Pramit Ayodele has issued you know a death message about Unamikano and he has told them this is what Unamikano must do or else he's going to die in jail so hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching a video in this beautiful channel like i always say and like i always encourage you guys to just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell icon so whenever i put down a new video on this channel you watching the video will be among the first set up to get the notification and also like help me like the video so that youtube can recommend it to more people who are seeking for this object just like the way you found it so um biafra received that message about namdekano and see what he must do or else he's gonna die in jail so and um permit elijah ayodele the leader of the inri evangelical spiritual church church has strongly advised namdekano the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra to plead with the Nigerian government for its release during the launch of its 30th edition of Warning to the Nation at its, La at its Lagos Church on Saturday. That's, um, I think, um, two days ago. Prime Minister Ayodele expressed his concern about Namdekano's prolonged detention. You know, Namdekano has been in jail for, you know, about, let's just say, about three years right now because, you know, he actually um flee out from the country to kenya on in 2021 but i think um he was actually brought back you know he was captured and was brought back to nigeria since ever since then he has been in the hand of the dss up till now so now they can have actually spent roughly three years in jail and three years is not three months you understand so Nam Kanu has been hit by the Department of State Service, which is the DSS, since his arrest in Kenya in June 2021. And despite several court orders granting him bail, the Nigerian government has refused to release him. So, can you see it? He has been arrested since um, June 2021, and by in July of on July 8th of um, 2024. So, let's just say three years and um, one month. That's Nam Kanu has been. In the hands of the DSS, which um um courts have um several courts have ordered for his bail, but yet the Nigerian government has review refused to you know to release him, which is very very bad. So the situation has prompted South East government and senators to agree to meet with President Nimbo to discuss a political solution to Nandekano's continued detention. So Prime Ayodele a stand uh, Prime Ayodele stand warning comes aims ongoing effort by various stakeholders to secure Namdekano's freedom and um, he asserted that unless Namdekano beg the Nigerian government or, or he might die in jail. So Parmentary Relation will say if Namdekano did not beg the Nigerian government for his release he's going to die in jail you understand and if you look at it it's kind of you know looking I don't know how to play scary yes let me just say that it's scary because you know since the court several courts have granted Nandikano bill and yet the Nigerian government has refused to release him what did they want him to do so Pamit Ayodele is actually trying to say that Nandikano should plead with them for his release because since several courts have made an appeal send a uh, message that they should release him on bail but the Nigerian government refused so I think for him to beg is one of the way Pamit Ayodele have you know um issued to him and for me i think now they cannot have to put that into progress to see what is gonna be the outcome unless you have a very very tangible um, plans apart from this so for me i really emphasize that now they cannot lack the capability to lead the agitator agitation for behavior and should therefore reconsider this approach so additionally permit i really made a significant predict about nigerian future asserting that the country will inevitably break up but not due to the action of Kano or Yoruba nomination architect or Sunday Boo. He claimed that the break up would occur naturally and without bloodshed originating from the north. According to him, prayers and fasting cannot prevent this break up because the spirit of the nation existence is exhausted and um, he added that the spirit of Nigerians forefather including Tafawa Balewas are displeased which would contribute to the country eventual division and um Prime Minister Adele remarks has sparked various reactions especially 
as they align with the ongoing discussion about Nigerian political stability and the future of its unity. And um, the clergyman tradition as advice have added another layer of complexity to the already tense situation surrounding Namdi Kano and the broader quest for Biafran independence. So, as the situation evolves, the focus remains on the Nigerian government's response and the potential political situation being um, explored by South East leader. And the call for Namdi Kano to seek um, clear mercy highlight the urgency and gravity of his current um, president with his future hanging in the balance so right now and right there i want you to go ahead to the comment section and share your opinion because your opinion matters to me and to other people's a lot you understand so you know all you, all you just read some of them are my opinion so i want you now to go to the comment section and share your opinion uh, for us to see and also back with enough details and explanation so like this video and if you haven't subscribed please do me a favor in subscribing i will be glad to see you as part of the scenarios 247 update family have a nice day ahead